What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing, man? It's your boy Jay, of course. Just wanted to holler at y'all Thursday morning, um, morning motivation. Yesterday, I got a um, text message from my brother. Um, he sent it, we got a little group family group chat, and um, he said something amazing that made me think about, you know, talking about y'all, talking to y'all this morning. So basically, he was saying, the text said, you're breaking generational curses. That's why things don't come so easy for you. You you are what your bloodline has been waiting for. Wow, man, that's powerful. I'm going to read it one more time. You're breaking genera generational curses. That's why things don't come easy for you. You are what your bloodline has been waiting for. Man, let that sit. Let that sit. That's something great to wake up with in the morning, man. Just think about it. Because a lot of times when bad things that happen or struggle or things that we're going through that we perceive as bad, we look at it as like it's something negative. We look at it as like... You know, um, somebody got a curse on us or we just can't get right. But you don't understand when you decide to be that person, that lead dog, when you decide to go your own way, it's no footprints right there for you to walk on. You're setting every footprint. You're you're setting, you're going to step into every trap. Nobody's there to tell you, oh, go this way, go that way. Don't take that trap. Make the left turn when you get to that point. No, you figuring it out on your own. And yes, it's stressful. Yes, it's a lot to deal with. But I'm telling you, the reward, the reward is way better because that's that's how your name live on. Your family can be able to say, we wasn't going to college until so-and-so started going to college. And then now you start to see a whole change where individuals are going to college and graduating and having careers when before you, everybody was strung out on drugs. Everybody was, you know, dropping out of school not doing what they're supposed to do. So you have to take some solace in that. You have to take, you know, re take some pride in that and understand that it's, it's not all just about you. It's not but something that you did wrong is the reason why you're going through something. It's because you chose to step up and be that lead dog and go ahead and go your own way and chart a different course and create a new path for you and your and your next generation of your family. And that's totally okay. Um, for you to do. I don't want you to, to, to run away from it because it seems scary because it seemed like when somebody else did it, it, it was, you know, it wasn't something good for them. It was great for them. You, you only looking at them in the halfway part. Go look at them at the end. Them people who survived the fifties and sixties, go talk to them now. Yeah. They might have horror stories about them, but just look at them now. They happy that they can get on the bus now and not have to go to the back of the bus. That was their work. They put in that work. They're happy to see you being able to do it. So understand the work that you're putting in now is not just for you. The work that you're putting in is for your next generation, for the generation after that. And if you're blessed to see that time, sit back, relax, and take joy in the work that you put in because you're going to see it through the next generation. You're going to see the things that you had to struggle with. They're able to go ahead and do it with ease. And it's all because of you. Listen, enjoy the rest of your morning. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.